So as you saw, I just just uh, move in some spare parts around from the uh, garage to my shed after I've uh, taken individual pictures of them and I'm going to list them on eBay. Uh, so I was using this thing for my mulch project that you guys saw and uh, I feel like there's a sound when you shut it off. Even though I don't see any smoke or anything uh, or any kind of performance issues, I have a feeling I blew a gasket. I feel like there's a leak somewhere when I shut it off, you know? There's like a sound when I shut it off. It's like, bang, bang. You know what I mean? You like those sound effects, huh? Those are pretty good sound effects, aren't they? I also noticed that when I was driving it around uh, mowing the grass, I feel like the, it was smoking around here, and I was looking at the brakes. I think I tightened the screw too hard for the calipers to push the brakes in. So it's spinning and rubbing the brakes at the same time. So I think the brakes were burning up. So I'm going to take this wheel off and check the brake assembly. Like, it's engaging the brakes pretty early, you know what I mean? Like, right there, it's starting to break, you know? So I think I did it just too hard, you know? Like, turned the brake adjustment screw too hard. So I'm going to be messing with that in a little while. So it looks like I can do it without taking the wheel off, which is much better. So if you look at the caliper there, you got one screw here, middle screw, right screw, right? The two left and right screws are holding the, uh, I guess this black uh, lever on, right? This black lever is kind of warped on the inside on purpose so that when you depress the brake, this thing moves forward and the warp part pushes the brake pad in to touch the disc, okay? So this middle screw, right, is the adjustment. It's a double screw. The inner one is the one that moves freely and pushes it in or out to loosen or tighten. The outer nut is to lock it so that it won't move. You know what I'm saying? So here, um, I know you can't really see. I'm going to put the flashlight there. You can kind of see. All right. So I'm going to depress the brake. Watch. See how that moves? It's kind of hard to move. And as you can see, when I'm moving it, the black lever doesn't really move. So I think that nut is too tight. Okay? So I'm going to hold the camera with one hand. My tripod isn't big enough to, isn't uh, short enough to. So this outer lock nut, I'm going to loosen. It's pretty tight. It's a half inch. All right, now I'm gonna loosen the inner nut. The inner nut's a lot easier to move. There you go. See, I just loosened it and that brake lever moved. All right, I'm gonna depress, depress the brake now. Ah, see? Oh, but it still doesn't pop back though freely. Oh, now it does, but not really. See? So I think I'm going to loosen it. Shit. I'm going to loosen it a little bit more. Still kind of catches, doesn't it? There we go. 
I'm going to tighten that outer one. It's pretty tight already because, yeah, it's pretty tight already. It won't move. There we go. Before, that black lever would just stay where it was. So it was putting pressure on the brakes the entire time that I was going. So that's what caused it to rub the brakes and smoke. So uh, I think I got it now. It was just a little bit of an adjustment. It's pretty easy, but you just got to, you know, move your arms in there and stuff like that to uh, get to where you need to go, you know. So that's it. I just needed a half inch wrench and um, adjusted the brakes. So it's good to go now. Uh, I was also inspecting this area. There's no signs of a blown gasket. There's no oil dripping or splatteration or anything like that. So, and also there's another check for um, another check for for blown gasket is that if it's uh, blown in a specific spot, you'll see when you lit, take the dipstick out. Clean as you dipstick smoke would come out of it. I mean, I, I saw you saw a little bit there, but you know, it, it's hot, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of smoke would have come out, like uh, white smoke. So, and the oil is very clean, nor have I lost any, you know? So for the time being, I guess it's all right. Uh, I don't notice any obvious signs of a blown gasket. So I moved this into the garage and uh, I'm going to wipe it down a little bit, clean it up uh, because I'm going to lower the price on this. I've had this for over a year. I've had it for like $1,300 and honestly, that is overpriced big time. You know, I know John Deere's are, are worth more, but this is one of those rubber stamped kinds, you know, from Lowe's. So uh, the quality isn't obviously as good as the old olden John Deere's where you can get at the dealer and stuff where they're much better quality. Um, so I think I'm going to drop it to like, I don't know, a thousand or maybe 950, 975, something like that. Um, and so, you know, prepping it for somebody to come see it because I've had it really way too long. Uh, even though I do like it and I've used it and it's a nice tractor. Um, I have my GT 6000 garden tractor. And I also have my Black Beauty, which uh, I always use and very reliable. So it's just taking up space in my yard. Uh, I now actually have some more space because I've sold like 10 tractors this season, you know. And i uh, got that one to sell too. So um, I guess I'll try to let go of this even though I really like it. Anyway, so that's how you adjust the brakes on your John Deere LA-105. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey guys, support my channel, buy a sticker. Also, follow me on Instagram at Mowers Blowers. Yeah. Check out my website, MowersBlowers.com. See you guys on the next one. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.